Hi, this is the OG Art Teacher, and right now I'm going to talk about some continuous contour. As we talked about before, a contour line is basically an outline. It's just the line that you draw on the paper that makes the paper go from blank to having something drawn on it. A continuous contour line is where you do not pick up the pencil or the pen. I prefer to do it in pen. Um, I think these are really fun to do and they're challenging because they're going to look weird no matter what. With a continuous contour, you're trying to get all the detail. It's an observational technique. Um, so again, I'm using my hand as a tool because I think that it's best to use what we have right in front of us. Um, so I'm going to leave my hand there and then I'm going to start drawing all of the little wrinkles and all of the little things that I see on my hand with one continuous line. Um, if I accidentally pick up the pen, I'm going to put the pen in the same spot that I picked it up from. This is helpful for like exaggerated drawings, for like learning how to see see the thing that you're actually drawing. Um, it's helpful really just for observation. It's a really good technique for hand-eye coordination um, and also to help you feel like art can be a little bit looser and less like realistic and perfect and all that stuff which is for some people why they do art and for some people it's why they won't do art. So again, you're not lifting up the pen or the pencil or the marker or whatever material you've chosen to use for this. You're just looking at what's in front of you and trying your best to get all the little wrinkles, all the little lines, uh, just every little thing that you see or don't see. I mean you can make it kind of extra detail -y if you feel like you're not getting quite enough on there. Um, but I love looking at all the little wrinkles and places that if I were going to go and color this or paint it, like I could add all kinds of different things in here and it's just kind of a fun way to draw. So I'm going to let my line be done there. But that's basically what a continuous contour line looks like. It's one line. It doesn't, it's not, it's all, con it's all connected. And that's what's really important about continuous contour. So you're drawing a line that is connected to itself.